Hey, what's going on guys? So this is actually my first water box and I wanted to kind of go over a few things that weren't in the instructions um, that you guys might come across when you're putting your you know water box together and you know if it's your first water box you might get a little confused on some of the stuff so I kind of want to you know point out some of the things that I ran into and um, and how I fixed it and also you know after sending a few emails to uh, water box uh, customer service um, you know this is how you actually are supposed to do it um, and also shout out to the water box customer service they are a great great team fast response uh, great support and if you has have any questions in terms of the install or just any general questions definitely reach out to them they're pretty pretty helpful so it's kind of dark in this office but uh, i have a little light on my phone to kind of show you guys what i want to talk about so the first thing that i ran into was the actual stand so this is the frag uh, tank um, this is the 175.6 frag tank so this is a newer frag tank um with the aluminum frame so before they had like a just a normal like uh, plywood or whatever frame where it's made out of wood and yeah so it's a little bit different from this so this is like the newer one that came out um and what i ran into was these doors here so these doors they would not close on me and engage this little um latch here right so if you follow the instructions you'll get to here you'll install everything and then you're like okay you know why isn't it opening like it won't engage well uh turns out that the instructions are incorrect and the part where the instructions tell you to uh, include those stoppers is on line 24 here and they actually have these dots here that they say hey put them on all these locations here so you follow that, that is going to prevent you from closing the door and actually engaging this. And so this side here doesn't have any of the stoppers and this close and engages just fine. So just when you get to that step right there on 24, if, if it's the same tank, I think it's like similar steps for the other ones, don't put the stoppers in there. So just go ahead and remove these stoppers um, and you'll be good to go. All right, so quick update on the actual doors here. Uh, they actually include two different versions of the stopper. There's a clear one that's very thin. This is the one you actually can use, not the black ones like they indicated in the instructions. So if you use these super uh, clear thin ones, there should be six of them for the doors. And you can watch here, it locks and you can actually open it. And what's good about that is also is it won't open if you click anywhere that's not close to the door location here. So that's actually pretty good. So if you, even if you go too low here, it won't open. So you have to be up here. So, so the next one I ran into issues with was the leveling uh, legs here. So in the instructions, it just tells you to screw them in, but they don't tell you um, where the nuts are supposed to be. So if you look here, there's supposed to be two nuts. And one nut is supposed to be down here close to the actual leg. And the other one is supposed to be at the very top. So if you have both of them at the same location, then you're gonna have a hard time um, locking the leg in place. Um, and the nuts are like opposite. So like one tightens up top, the other one tightens in the bottom, and that's kind of where you want it. So for example, if I want to uh, raise um, or lower this, I would have to unscrew both of these and then you'll see one nut kind of go up and the other one kind of go down and then you can kind of raise the legs and then tighten the, the nuts back in into place and that kind of secures the um the height of where you want it so just make sure like when you install these have the nuts kind of separate a little bit and then you can screw them in and then kind of adjust them afterwards the way i did it um was because everything was pretty level if your floor is pretty level all you do is take like a a measuring tape and measure out like you know the distance of like you know i think there's like slightly under like an inch or something like that just measure it like the exact same for all of them and then um take a leveler and then like level it out and see where you need to adjust which leg and so that's that's how i did that so the next issue i ran into was with how the tank was supposed to sit on the uh, stand. So normally on a rimless tank, all the rimless tanks that I've done, there is like a squish layer in between where you have like a styrofoam that's in between here. Then you have like the yoga mat, which they have included here, and then the tank. 
um, or you know some sort of like plywood some sort of flat surface that sits across the um, frame to even if it's aluminum even if it's like a metal stand um, then the, then the your yoga mat and the tank goes on top so I didn't see a plywood or some sort of like layer that goes across uh, the whole like frame and really like it's just holes under here the only ones that has support is like this beam across beam across and this whole area is actually empty so I was like that's kind of weird like normally there's like some sort of like you know flat surface that goes across even if it's like a foam layer right and then the the mat goes on and so I had you know messaged them and they confirmed yeah you just place it on top so um, I was like, oh, that's, that's really odd. So if, you know, once you get to that point, it doesn't tell you in the instruction, like, hey, you're good, just place it on top. You know, that's that's how it is. Um, and like, for example, like down here in the sump area, it also has these beams, you don't see them, but they, they go across here, just like that. But like, you know, the sump also has a yoga mat, but then they included like this, this, um, this foam layer that sat across, you see there's two of them that sat across the whole thing. And I was like, why didn't they just include this on top, like a similar thing on top? You know, so that's why I was a little confused because I was just like, well, this is the same setup. Why didn't you just, you know, remove this and just had it, it just beams across, right? So I was like, okay, well, maybe I guess because um, the one of the beams wouldn't have lined up on that one here for this guy here. So anyways, that's what that's a little odd but you know when you're getting to that part that's how you install it another thing i was thinking is just maybe the way it looks because if you have like you know too thick of a layer it wouldn't look as sleek but yeah as you can see here that's those little like holes or gaps it looks like bubbles are like basically the um yoga mat kind of like peeling off at the bottom of the tank and that's because it doesn't have a flat surface to sit on there's only like those beams like i mentioned that goes across and so kind of like peel off so if you're looking at like a bare bottom tank um, and you're running a bare bottom tank, that's, you're gonna see those like that. But luckily I'm gonna be running sand, like a thin layer of sand, so you won't be able to see that. So just something to note if you're getting this tank um, and you're getting the new like aluminum frame. And then the fourth thing I wanna point out is when you're actually placing the tank on top um, of the stand, the tank actually, if you look here, it actually sticks out a little bit, right? out of the door you can see here that's like it doesn't sit on anything and that's actually normal so when you place the tank you want to align it all the way in the back of the stand there and then it sits in like that in front where you see how like basically the door helps keep it flush so that's normal too so if you're new to water box and I believe um, Red Sea also does a very similar thing that's how it's supposed to sit all right, so the next issue that I ran into is the hose clamp. So the hose clamp that they provided you is a one and one quarter of an inch hose clamp, and that's the same size as the hose itself when it's not bulging like this. So when it's big like this, it actually does not close and you can't crimp it at all. Um, and so I was just like, what is going on? So I ended up actually having to order one size up and it should be coming into the mail um, to actually close it up here so like I said like if you put it around like the normal thing here it actually will close but this one here when you try to do it it doesn't close at all like at all um, so yeah all right and then when you're installing these guys here be extremely careful on the bottom part when you're screwing in. You don't need to over screw it because they'll actually break. It's plastic. I did it actually with this guy here. I broke a piece off here because I over tightened it thinking that, oh yeah, we need to tighten it more because it can actually just keep going um, and it broke. So I'm getting a replacement from Waterbox, but just be very, very careful there. And along with this kit here, it came with this here. So this is like a magnet that that kind of sticks here. And initially, I thought that, you know, I kind of assumed that it would have been installed across from the door here, like, you know, drilled in with the screw or whatever and sat here. And it would just, you know, clipped on here when it closes. And, you know, that's how you use it. But actually, you do not need this. Um, the door will engage on its own like this and close without it. And I kind of confirmed with Waterbox that you don't need it because 
the the way it's installed or supposed to be installed, you're supposed to drill a hole, like a huge hole, and then put the screw into it. And I was like, well, there's no pilot hole or there's no pre-hole on here. Are you supposed to drill it yourself? And it was like, mm. so you don't need to use this piece apparently. So there's a bunch of like leftover pieces. The last one is not a instruction error or a miss or like it's not there. It's actually my fault for not reading it carefully. And I, you know, after, you know, talking with Waterbox through email, they actually clarified it and actually, you know, something that customers don't read. And so I wanted to point this out. So if you guys are ordering a water box and you wanted to have it dropped in your garage, that the garage can't change in levels. So for example, like this level here, where it's like high and then goes low. So the delivery person would not be able to drop this into the garage or shouldn't or, or, or not required to. Because if you look at the fine print, of a you know side drop off or a garage drop off it can't have a level change it has to be flat all the way through then they can drop it off in your garage free delivery for example like the free delivery is just curbside so they just drop it at the end of the driveway and so if your garage is like mine's the furthest it should be if you're paying even though the you know the 150 to deliver it it should be right outside of the garage door so i was lucky enough to have the you know the driver help you know put it in here obviously i had to build like a mini ramp for him to actually push it over the little thing and he put it in here even though i paid for the the 150 to get into the garage technically the driver did not have to put it inside the garage based on what the water box description was so i just wanted to clarify so if you guys are expecting like a garage drop off like this just double check your garage out there if it's change in height they won't be able to put it in and you guys might get frustrated or whatever now it kind of like in that frustration uh, also it's like hey man i paid for this it's like just put it in you know um but yeah after clarifying it with waterbox totally understand that was my fault i must didn't even read it like i, I just over glanced i was like oh garage you know delivery click on it you know there is a specific line on there that says like it you, they won't drop it off with that change of height so just fyi there all right guys so those are all the issues that i ran into when installing this water box and this is my very first water box um, didn't know what to expect in terms of the delivery, the install, everything was brand new to me. So if you guys are new uh, to Waterbox or even like, you know, the other companies, um, Red Sea Reefer and all that stuff, I'm pretty sure it's going to be very similar uh, in terms of like all these issues. Because like when you're you know new at something and you're building it, just like, you know, you want to make sure everything's right. And so those are some things that I ran into um, because it was wasn't either wasn't in the instructions or you know the instruction was really not good right so uh, hopefully this helped um some of the new people that are getting water boxes or planning to get water boxes in the future um and hopefully maybe they update you know the instructions if they see a bunch of this complaint or whatever so if you guys aren't subscribed yet make sure to subscribe and like always the next one guys peace